What's up, YouTube? Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Misty Murray. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about paralegals versus law firm life. I get a lot of paralegals coming to me struggling because they are grasping at anything that they can to organize their cases because they're in a situation where there's either no case management, no file management, and they truly need help. They are so sick and tired of the virtual door being slammed in their face saying, it's not broken, don't fix it. Well, that doesn't mean that it's necessarily not broken if you're struggling with case management. So if you're interested today, stick with me. I can not only relate to you, I've got a few tweaks to help you out. So if you're interested, keep watching. You've probably heard that phrase before. It's not broken, don't fix it. Well, that's really not true. I got paralegals telling me that all the time that it is broken, which is why I created this graphic right here. Creatures of habit does not mean incapable of change. Sure, we're all creatures of habit in one way, shape, or form, some more so than others. Do I like going to my favorite restaurant, Charleston's, and ordering my favorite meal, which is a baked potato and a Caesar salad? Of course I do. I'm a creature of habit just like you. But it doesn't mean that I'm not capable of ordering the French dip. Also amazing, by the way. I'm perfectly capable of changing my order if I need to. The fact is that eventually we will be required to change. We're required to evolve because society, the law, and technology dictates that we do so. Even the ABA had to change the rules to hold accountability to technology. Attorneys, paralegals can no longer stick their heads in the sand and be adverse to the evolution of technology. You're going to have to go with the flow because again, law and society dictates that you do so. In an ever evolving technological world, we have to truly ask ourselves, do we want to be forced to change or do we want to take those tiny little steps to make those changes ourselves? As an example, when was the last time you purchased a rear projection television? It's probably been a really long time. I'm not even sure you can find one that's outside of a pawn shop anymore. But why is that? Because technology evolved and we now have these wonderful flat screens that are pretty affordable. So there's really no need to backtrack and get to a rear projection television. When your iPhone 4 favorite app start, stopped working, what did you do? Well, you probably upgraded to a new phone to get your app to start working again. You really wanted to use your favorite app. You had no choice but to upgrade your phone. That's the evolution of technology. We can be forced into this change or we can make the tiny steps to make those changes ourselves. Even though we're creatures of habit, it doesn't mean that we're incapable of change. When you break down why the powers that be at law firms don't want to advance their technology or evolve, it boils down to two big factors, cost and time. Big law firms, middle law firms, small law firms really don't wanna spend loads of money on a new practice management system, and they certainly don't want to spend loads of your time learning that new practice management system. Mid to small size law firms really can't afford it, not only the money, but they can't afford losing you and your valuable time. However, just because it, isn't broken doesn't mean that we can't change our system and streamline our practices to create efficiency in our own day-to-day -day jobs. We're not saying it's broken, we're saying it's antiquated. Case in point, you need to request a check from your office manager. So you navigate on your server and your files where that check request form is. You print it out, you fill it out and you walk down a copy to your office manager's office. In the meantime, you wave and nod and say hi to all of your coworkers as you go to your office manager's office. Once you get to your office manager's office, there's another hi and how are you as you put that form into her tray and wait for your office manager to write you a check. She's probably not gonna do it right then and there, so you have to walk back to your desk as you tilt your head and nod and wave and say hello to all of your coworkers again and patiently wait for your check. Bam! 30 minutes gone in your day right there just from requesting a check. 
or you can do a more efficient way. You can go online, fill out that request form for a check, but instead of printing it out and signing it and bringing it down there, it's a Microsoft Office form that you fill out, click that submit button and patiently wait for your check. Sorry, you didn't get those steps in for your Fitbit, but bam, five minutes. Five minutes is all it took for you to request that check. I don't know, you know, for me, that is just a much more efficient practice. I can fill out a form online, click the submit button and wait for the check. I'm not wasting paper, I'm not wasting ink, I'm not wasting toner, I'm not walking my happy ass down to my office manager's office and waiting for a check. I'm being efficient, I'm saving time, and I've evolved my practice to create that efficiency in my day-to-day -day job. When I developed my practice management for Office 365, those two big factors are what I had in mind, time and cost. I knew that I needed to develop a practice management system that saved time for attorneys who didn't want to send their staff off-site to train and save them money because they don't have it to spend. So when I truly took a look at a practice management system, I looked at what we're already using in our day-to-day -day processes in many offices today, which is Microsoft Suites. So when I took a look at Office 365 and all of the applications that were available to you, Office 365 sort of seemed like a no-brainer to me. And then I had to incorporate it into a system that you could use. So it was simple. It became a mission of mine to simplify to amplify. And by that, I mean simplify the processes to amplify your life, to amplify your efficiency in your day-to-day -day processes for your job. It was about giving power back to the law firm, back to the staff, and keeping the money in the law firm and out of the software company's hands. Theoretically, if there's more money in the law firm's pockets, then there's more money for you. I'm a paralegal. I work for attorneys. I know the struggle is real. I know that the more money I keep in my firm, theoretically, the better benefits, better computers, better salary that I'm going to get. So it's really about giving the power back to the law firms and out of the software company's hands. You don't need all those bells and whistles. You're paying for them and you're probably not using them anyway. So stop it. Simplify to amplify. Okay, true story. I was working with a law firm in Chicago to roll out an Office 365 system for them. Before they got to me, they were using a very antiquated in-house practice management system that they paid about $30,000 for. They'd had it for years. After paying $30,000 for the practice management system, they had to send each of their employees one by one off-site to train for that practice management system. So that meant that all of those staff members that had to go one by one to the training, none of their work was getting done for an entire week or their work was being pawned off to another legal assistant, paralegal, secretary, anybody else who could lend a hand. Now, this was an in-house practice management system, which meant it wasn't cloud-based. So attorneys who were needing anything just prayed that their legal assistant or paralegal or secretary, whoever they were reaching out to, was sitting at their desk or sitting at their phone, waiting to give them the answers that they needed, just like this cartoon right here that you have seen handed around in social media. It's not a very good system. This law firm simply kept renewing their subscription over and over again to this system that they weren't really using all the bells and whistles for because they simply feared change. They're creatures of habit. To them, it wasn't broken, so they didn't need to fix it. But as technology evolved, it really was broken. They needed to create efficiency in their processes. And so I had a paralegal at that firm come across my Office 365 video and just start working with it herself. Now she had some limitations because she really couldn't upload things to OneDrive, but she started small. She started with Outlook, she started with OneNote. Remember, OneNote is the one piece of software that Microsoft will give you for free. 
Even if you don't have an Office 365 account, I guarantee you, if you were to look on your computer right now, and if it's a Windows-based machine, you would find OneNote available to you. If you're a Mac user, you can go to the App Store and download OneNote completely for free. This paralegal went to my resources page on my website, downloaded all of my template indexes, and put them into a OneNote notebook for each one of her cases. And that's what she did to kind of keep track of everything in her case. She was open to a new way of approaching her cases in an effort to streamline her processes. And you know what? It worked. And not only did it work, it was noticeable to a lot of other people in that firm. Her billables were up, her efficiency was up. So long story short, because it was noticeable, the rest of the firm went ahead and rolled out Office 365 as a practice management system at their law firm. Now, skip forward one year later, the partner for that firm put his house on the market. He was living in the city. He put his house on the market and bought a horse farm a little over an hour outside of the city with his wife. He didn't necessarily have to be in the office anymore because he was working on a cloud-based practice management system. The workers and their staff weren't sitting there just waiting for his telephone call and waiting for his emails to ask if he needed something. They weren't printing documents, stamping copy on them and taking them to his office, putting them on his chair, on his desk and waiting for them to be found, waiting for them to be signed. They went paperless, completely evolved, and every single person in that office is much more happier for it. And I tell you what, the very first call I received after rolling out this practice management system and after using it for a little while, the first call I received was from that partner's wife. She called me to thank me for giving her her husband back. She was sick and tired of him being at the office all the time. And quite frankly, as a wife, I would be too. I love my husband. I want him at home with me. So that's another reason why it's really important to evolve. It may not be broken, but it may be inadequate for the way that you need to approach your cases now. All it took was one creature of habit to change which promoted a domino effect for everybody else in that law firm to want to change as well. When you're seeing the results from your coworkers, it kind of makes it hard not to make that change too. And you know what? They went from spending $30,000 a year for an in-house based practice management system to spending less than $1,000 a year for all their workers to work in a cloud-based practice management system. Not to mention all the inventory and supplies and commuting costs that they saved from going to in-house to cloud-based. Paralegals, if you are struggling, I want you to know that you're not alone. Lots of paralegals are struggling, but I encourage you to plant the seeds of change. And it's okay if it doesn't grow right away because the seed you plant today isn't the fruit that you eat today. Change takes time. Evolution takes time. It's going to take time for your office to evolve into a more technological world if you are really paper intensive. But there's nothing stopping you from making those tiny little changes now, taking those small steps for a small change and big rewards down the road. The big reward down the road is actually your sanity. Look to see if you have Office 365 available to you at your office. If you don't, just try using OneNote. If you really want to incorporate a productivity platform and you don't have Office 365, meaning you don't have Planner, that's okay too. There are lots of other platforms out there, including Asana. Asana is one of those free platforms that you can use to help with your productivity. Just incorporate the small things to help you with your day-to-day -day efficiency. If you do have Office 365, be sure to check out these two videos right here where I talk about things that you can use in Office 365. Microsoft Forms, great for answering discovery. OneNote, great for holding indexes, and there's a whole slew of others. If you like this video, be sure to click thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on social media. Please 
leave a comment below and tell me some of the struggles that you are dealing with. I really want to hear from you. I want to know what this takeaway is on this video for you. I know that there are a lot of paralegals out there struggling with case and file management. There are a lot of great tools and great ways for us to deal with this together. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars and loads of time training on a new system to do that. You have resources available to you today, right now. This channel and lots of other things, lots of other people, there are a ton of mentors out there. So keep that chin up, you are not alone. As always guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, a fantastic rest of your week and an amazing weekend ahead of you. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Join me on November 16th for a live online demo of Office 365 as a practice management system. Take part in the Q&A and receive a free Office 365 practice management template. Space is limited, so register today at aeroconsultants.solutions.